Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about a DRC rule that's available inside of the Cadence PCB tools. This is called static phase at via transitions and, and allows you to be a bit more specific about where you apply the phase bumps in your differential pair if you're trying to get them to match. Um, so traditionally, obviously, if you've got a driver and a receiver, driver and receiver going up to here, um, there's a static phase check which effectively looks from driver all the way to receiver and will give you a DRC error and you can then go and add phase bumps specifically where you want to. Um, but in some instances, it may be more prudent to add um, the phase bumps at the via transitions, which will give you a bit more of a, a slightly better result. So um, similar to the dynamic phase where you're looking at each turn in the differential pair, you might want to do this at the via transition to resolve where you want to add um, the phase bumps. So um, obviously there's a driver symbol. This is uh, controlled under setup and design parameters. There's a there's a diff pair driver pins, and this is obviously based on the pin code use of out. So if you look at, um, hover over the tooltip there, it says in the parameter description, um, it's required for this figure to be displayed. You need the pin use code of out, which can be done in the schematic, is the ideal place where you could add the, the pin use property in the PCB. So once you've got that, then we then need to enable the DRC check to look at the via transition, because at the moment, all we're seeing is one DRC effectively on the driver pin. So if you go to setup and constraints, modes where we set all the the drc modes effectively under the electrical modes um, if we look under all the differential pair checks there's a, a specific option for diff pair um, sorry enable static phase at vias option so if we enable this this will then use that as a function so um, what we'll do is we'll apply that on okay and then what you'll notice now is i'm actually getting a drc error uh, at the via transition so it's going to show me this um, it's quite a useful feature. Timing vision will also show this, so you can look at the timing vision mode and see how that goes. But this then decides where you want to add the, the phase. So if I use the root and phase tune command, quick look at the options pane to see the size of the bump, that's fine. So if I was to, for example, add the phase bump here, it would have zero effect on this DRC because effectively it's coming from the driver pin back to the via transition. So if we just do an oops there, and then maybe add uh, a phase bump here. You can see both the DRCs are disappearing, which means the phase has been corrected in the successful location, and I'm good to carry on. 